Singer and actress Holly Valance sparked controversy over the weekend by accusing Australia of going woke. In an exclusive interview with GB News, the pop star explained that when she was growing up, Australia was a fun place. Now, it's just too woke. Australia that I grew up in was unreal. It was so fun and we didn't seem to have all these problems. There wasn't all this sort of like, uh, the woke stuff's really gone big in yeah. Australia. The Neighbours star also took aim at climate activist Greta Thunberg, arguing that her extreme views and messages on climate change is triggering anxiety in young children and it's not giving anybody any hope. I don't understand why you had this like demonic little gremlin high priestess of climatism as the goddess in classrooms, Greta. Holly Valance didn't hold back when she was asked about her views on renewable energy. Don't. Renewables are a complete waste of time, absolutely Jeez. stupid, especially when they require 300 to 600% more land to do it on. Don't work if it's not windy, don't work if it's sunny. And that's like in the most sunny place in Arizona where they have the most of them. They still need all their backup generators <laughs> and gas to do everything. It just seemed like, this is mental, it's so ridiculous. Naturally, the singer is being slammed on social media for daring to share her opinion. Some wrote on X, she's probably invested in an oil company and interviewing her is a complete waste of time. But prominent media figures in Australia have come to her defence. Shock jock Carl Sanderlands addressed the controversy on his radio program this morning. Starting with the issue that Australia has turned woke, Carl said, the people that are in charge are all woke, so every one of their dumb rules is for the benefit of everyone. He also backed Holly's view on Greta Thunberg, saying, I hate that chick too. But Carl Sanderlands is not the only one who agrees with Holly Balance. Hosts of Outsiders, Rowan Dean, James Morrow and Rita Panahi have all praised the singer for speaking out. You got that right. The Australia we grew up in was a fantastic place. What a shame today's kids are well. Here's Holly again. Like, I don't understand why you had this, like, demonic little gremlin high priestess of climatism as the goddess in classrooms, Greta. Greta Thunberg, OK. And the kids are all coming home with depression and anxiety. Why would you go to your music lesson or bother doing your homework it's or get sad. out of bed if you think we're all going to be dead in five years anyway? I mean, they told me in class. Greta told me. Um, why would you bother? doesn't give anybody hope. Great question, Holly, but, you know, I'm not really sure you've quite told us what you really think. Oh, you will tell us what you think? Okay. A lot of my best, best friends are male, and I don't think they all need to put on a dress these days to be interesting. They're still in Australia. Should they ditch the monarchy? Should Australia? No way. No way. King Charles, That's remember. part of us. Fantastic, that's Holly Valance, pop star from the noughties who's not afraid to call out the weird world of woke for what it is. Holly, you can come on this show anytime you like. It's not the first time Holly Valance has caused a stir. Earlier this year, the 40-year-old opened up about her politics, insisting that everyone starts out as a lefty, but as they get older and wiser, they tend to go to the right. I know, have yours been a right or centre person, or is that are you a conservative? How, where are you politically? I would say that everyone starts off as a lefty and then wakes up at some point after you start either making money, working, trying to run a business, trying to buy a home, and then realise what crap ideas they all are, and then you go to the right. The star made the comments while attending a conservative political event in London. That interview quickly went viral and Holly Valance was accused of triggering lefties. But her words appear to have struck a chord with many. Joining me Daniel Wilde, Deputy Executive Director of the Institute of Public Affairs, and Evelyn Ray, Sky News presenter and regular commentator on this show. Daniel, how true is this? Well, exactly, Andrew. I think that the point there is that as people work, as they take on responsibility, as they start to raise a family, own a home, uh, they begin to understand the realities of life. They're more immersed in the real economy. Uh, they understand and observe the negative impact that a lot of government decisions that can have. I mean, just look at the red tape, the green tape, the cost of living, energy prices, and so many of the challenges associated with that. It's inevitable that as people become immersed in, in the real world, they become more conservative, not necessarily ideologically conservative, but temperamentally uh, conservative, where they build up their assets, they build up lots of things in their life, 
and they naturally want to protect that against the encroachments of those uh, from government and on the left. And I think it's such an interesting example of, of that, Andrew, and uh, you know, something that we're seeing much more across our society. Yes, I must confess that I twice worked for the Labor Party. And as for Steve Price, one of our uh, presenters, the less said the better. Shame on you, Steve. We know where you've been, or I do anyway. Uh, Evelyn, is it true of you as well? She absolutely nails it. It's 100% true. The lefty position is usually one which is very sheltered, moronic and naive. You know, it's students who have never interacted with the real world. It's university lecturers who have never ventured outside of their institutions. And it's politicians who have never held a real job. It's a conclusion that unintelligent people come to with partial bits of information but when they meet the real world the world of personal responsibility they very soon realize that the best person to govern their own lives is not some faceless bureaucracy or mindless politician it's themselves and good on her for saying it good on her for saying it out loud i hope that people listen and take heed especially young people who might be listening and watching learn earlier than most of us do. Well, uh, for me, always, I think, you know, every, every kid can dream of the perfect picnic. It's when you have to, as the adult, actually organise one, you realise how easy it is <laughs> to forget, say, you know, the bottle opener or, or uh, you know, the, to fill the gas bottle. So that's the difference. It makes you more conservative and less likely to trust the dream.